Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a pumpkin pie using fresh pumpkin puree. If you look at some of my videos a little bit earlier on, I showed you how to make pumpkin puree and I showed you how to make pumpkin pie spice. So look back on some of my other videos and you'll see how to make these things to make it all natural ingredients. I am kind of cheating a little bit. I'm going to be using a pre-made crust, um, just like the little ones that you unroll, I guess like the Pillsbury ones or store brand ones, whatever you want to use um, for my pie crust. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I have my pumpkin puree here. I kind of heated it up a little bit just because I did have it frozen. So I did heat it to melt it and stir it. And as you can see, it's just pure pumpkin now. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna heat your oven to 425 degrees. And in a, a big bowl, I'm actually using my mixing bowl here. My big mixer on here. And I will post the, the recipe for this as well. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to mix in 15 ounces of your pumpkin puree. So on my cup here that I have, it goes up to 14 ounces. So I'm gonna put in 14 ounces of the fresh pumpkin puree. And you notice like traditional pumpkin pies you buy in the stores, they're a little bit darker. This one won't be as dark, just to the fact that you are using fresh pumpkin and it's not canned or processed or have anything in there. So right here is 14 ounces of pumpkin puree. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that into my mixer like so, and then I'm gonna add another ounce to make the 15 ounces just like you would have in a can. So I'm gonna add actually a little bit more. This is two ounces, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use all of it. So I'm putting in actually 16 ounces of pumpkin puree. And again, this is the fresh pumpkin puree. And if you want to know how to make that, go ahead and look on my channel. Like I said, I put some videos out a couple weeks ago about putting on the pumpkin puree. So next, I'm going to add one and a quarter cups of evaporated milk. You can also use half and half. Um, I am actually going to use the evaporated milk in this recipe because I like how it tastes a little bit better. And for some reason, I cannot find my pan opener. So we will use this one. And make sure you do shake the evaporated milk really, really good so that way it is well mixed for your pumpkin pie. So I'm gonna use one and a quarter of a cup of evaporated milk in my pie. So as you can see, I have one and a quarter cups of evaporated milk. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my pumpkin puree. I'm using two eggs. I'm going to beat the eggs before I put them into the mixture.
And again, this is a pumpkin pie, low carb, except for the crust, and low sugar. Then I'm going to put in, I put the eggs into there, so I'm gonna put in my pumpkin pie spice that I have made on one of my other videos. So look back onto there. And if you don't have pumpkin pies, if you have pumpkin pie spice, you can use that as well, but this one is a homemade pumpkin pie spice. So I'm gonna put in one and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. So here's my half a teaspoon. And here is my one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. And I'm gonna put in a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And this is pure vanilla. By the way, this is actually vanilla from Mexico. Um, so. You can use the imitation vanilla if you have it, or if you've made your own vanilla, um, you're more than welcome to use that as well. And for the sugar, I'm gonna put in three quarters of a cup of stevia, or Splenda, you know, that's so it's more low sugar. So here's my half a cup. And then I will put in a quarter to make the three quarters. And again, you can use stevia, you can use Splenda, just depending on which you, you wish. I just have to have stevia on hand. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix this. While this is mixing, I will not be talking just because it is loud and it does make it hard to hear. So I will be mixing and then I will talk as soon as I'm done mixing this. I don't have it on too loud, so I will try to talk over it. As you can see, it's very light colored and I am mixing it pretty vigorously. I do have it on low. I don't have it, you know, out of control. On here. I'm going to turn it up to two in a minute just to make sure that everything is all mixed together really, really good. Okay, so now that I've done all of that and I've mixed it all together, I'm actually gonna turn the beaters on here just a second as I lift it up in order to be able to get all of the excess pumpkin off a little bit that gets kind of stuck onto your blades. And again, you can see I do have pumpkin stuck on my blade, so I'm actually going to push that back into the mixture on here. So you can see this is my fresh pumpkin puree that I'm going to be putting into my pie crust. So I'm gonna unplug this, excuse me for a few seconds while I do this, kind of get this big monstrosity out of the way here and I'm gonna unhook these. Set my bowl aside here. And again, you can make your own pie crust. I just, I'm not real good at making pie crusts, so I did cheat. So I'm going to pour my pumpkin pie mixture into my pie crust. So when I do put it in my oven, just so that way it doesn't, sometimes like they like to leak over and stuff like that, I am going to put it on a piece of foil. So that way it doesn't spill over 
and onto my oven and make a big mess. So I'm good, like again, I put the oven to 425. I have the ingredients here. I'm gonna bake it for 15 minutes and then I'm going to turn the temperature down to 350 and then bake it for another 40 minutes. So I'm going to come back here when I put it into the oven for the 15 minutes when I turn it down to the 350 so that way you notice what I'm doing and then I'll come back again after 15 minutes and I will um, cook it the rest of the way. Okay, so the 15 minutes has passed on baking the pot, pumpkin pie first off at the 425. So now you're going to turn your oven down to 350. And you're going to go ahead and bake the pie at 350 for 30 to 40 minutes depending on if the when you stick a toothpick or a cake tester into the pumpkin pie it comes out clean so i'm also going to show you what the pie looks like now inside the oven so you can kind of see so that's how it's looking so far and again that's a pure pumpkin puree pie and you can see the crust is starting to get a little bit dark so i will be putting on a couple of the crust protectors just so they don't get burnt